Hello everyone, today I thought I would do a Shop My Stash video because this was requested in one of my last videos specifically to do a drugstore version so that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to clip my hair back. I slept with it in like plaits last night so it's a little bit like all over the place but I'm just kind of rocking it. It kind of looks cute I guess. So yeah, I have no idea what kind of look we're going to create today but I do want to dive into my random draw like I did in my blue eyeliner video. I'll link that one down below. I loved the way that look came out. So I'm going to do a similar thing today where I'm going to like, you know, do everything and then when it comes to my eye makeup just grab a few random products to kind of incorporate into the look just to elevate it a little bit and make it a little bit different. Yes, let's see what we can come up with today. I guess I'll start with primer or conceal. Primer, primer. I've got like pimple solution on my face right now. It's this really liquidy stuff. So I'm just gonna go straight over it, YOLO. And it's also very bright outside right now. So if I'm squinting, that's why. Let's see, okay, drugstore primer. Drugstore slash cheap, that's gonna be our rule. Like drugstore affordable cheap, drugstore brands, affordable brands. Got it. All right, I found this. This is called a Insta CC Primer by Rimmel in the color peach. The other purpose of this video, if you haven't watched Shop My Stash videos, is kind of like, you know, using things I haven't used in a long time, using products I've forgotten about, stuff like that. So this is a moisturizing kind of texture. Color correct your skin concerns with this lightweight formula. Correct dark spots and skin discolorations with this peach toned primer to perfectly prepare and balance the skin. I've had a few breakouts because I got anxious and started picking at my skin again. <sighs> like it looks so nice apart from that because I've been doing my microdermabrasion. If you're wondering about that, it's saved under skin secrets on my Instagram page. On like my Instagram highlights, the story highlights. But yeah, um, like it looks really nice and glowy because of that and hydrated, but like I've just been picking and it's so bad, it's such a bad habit. It's like I can't help myself, like people that bite their nails or people that twist their hair or like, I don't know what other ones are over, you know what I mean? Like I just pick my skin and it's so annoying. And I don't know how to stop it. And I can go ages without doing it. And then all of a sudden, I do something like this and just like absolutely rip open my skin and leave like wounds. All right, that left my skin looking so glowy, like comparable to something like stroke cream. It does feel a little bit slipperier on my skin like it feels kind of silicone-y but not I don't know it's kind of like a blend between that silicone feel and a hydrating feel like in between there somewhere but the finish is so so pretty so yeah I'm pretty happy with that now we're gonna do concealer around the eyebrows so I'm trying to find a concealer I haven't used in quite a while I guess this one here probably this is a retouch and erase concealer by Milani and it's in the shade 01 fair I do have like stuff all fake tan on today so I want to make sure everything I'm using is suitable for fairer skin. And I think I'm gonna pair it up with a concealer brush today just so I can get a nice sharp line around my eyebrows. Now I do remember trying this ages ago and really loving it, hence the reason it's still in my collection after decluttering, so let's give it a go. It's sliding around quite a lot on this primer, I have to say. Like, the primer underneath is very slippery. I feel like it would almost be nicer just to wear alone rather than under makeup because it makes your skin look so pretty just by itself but who knows like i'll wait until i put on the actual foundation today because it could be amazing so this concealer has a really nice coverage it's a nice kind of formula it's not too thick not too thin but yeah it's going on a little bit streaky on top of this primer that's the only like feedback i have right now oh my gosh i just woke up not long ago and it's already 10 30. i've got the most screwed up sleeping patterns new zealand's gone back into level three which means some businesses can open like contactless businesses which includes exo beauty so hamish is back at work shipping orders for you guys so i was like you know what that means i need to start going to bed at a normal time and waking up at a normal time because my bedtime for ages was like 3 a.m i was sleeping from like 3 till like 10 or 11 and I was like this cannot be a thing because that's when the good lighting is like right now the lighting is like average um it's gonna get way too bright and I'll probably have to just completely switch to artificial lighting soon I've still got some of artificial lights on like if I turn them off just to lighten up everything but it just gets like too bright it's so hard to explain guys like I don't even know what's happening I'm not a lighting expert but anyways yeah I was just like moral of the story I need to go to sleep at a reasonable hour because it's not okay and I'm so tired right now and I've got my coffee that was that was where I was going with that cool story Shan that was really interesting <laughs> this feels nice I do have quite a few like favorite drugstore concealers like covergirl one 
my ColourPop one. More recently, those new um, Chi Chi concealers, those were unreal. I used them in a recent video and the coverage was like insane. Let me know if you guys have tried after watching my video or if you tried anything else in that video. Cause I found a few new like drugstore favorites in that too. I'm just gonna put the leftover just like over these red spots down here. And I'll use this under the eyes shortly, so we'll keep it out. Should we go straight into foundation now or wait a while? I don't really know. Man, I really need my eyebrows done. They are so pale right now. I just want an eyebrow tint. <laughs> All right, let's do a sponge before and after. I love watching these. So here's my before. I'm gonna wash it with my solid brush cleaner by EXO Beauty and get it ready for foundation application. And after, I freaking love this stuff. This is it here, the solid brush cleaner. It's just solid and it's like you're wetting your sponge anyway, so just swirl it in here quickly. Wet it as normal, like rinse out the soap. Takes no time at all, gets all of the old foundation out from the day before and gets all that bacteria out. And honestly, I think it really does help like contribute to less breakouts because you are not using a dirty sponge over and over again. Even though you're rinsing it, a lot of people don't clean them properly. And I find liquids just take so long, like so long, this stuff. Is amazing guys if you've used this please comment your review down below this is like one of our best-selling products on Exo Beauty we sell them constantly and we've just restocked as well what foundation let's have a look looking forward to this part maybe I used this since I was talking about the other day and this is one of the ones I haven't really used recently so this is by Revolution the conceal and define I used the um, Clinique version a few videos ago and I was saying about how this is a really good dupe, but um, it was way too pale for me at the time. So I'll link the video where I used the Clinique one down below if you want to see how that one looks compared to this one. But it's really good, guys. So good. So I'm just going to apply it like this. Um, it's just got like this big, huge doe foot applicator. And this color, by the way, is in F5. And then take out Clean Sponge, which has now got a speck of glitter on it. That's good. And just... Bounce that on in a nice thin layer because it is a really good coverage. You don't really need to like build it up a lot. I'll also do another unboxing video when all of my mail starts coming in again now that we've reduced our lockdown. Or well, not reduced, well you know what I mean, reduced the level of it. And I'll do some more like clothing hauls and things that I couldn't do previously. And that just blends out so seamlessly. It's so pretty. It is quite matte so... I will be using a lot of highlighter and setting spray today just to like, you know, brighten up my skin a bit because otherwise I feel like I can look quite dull. I don't know, I just love a glowy finish. Do you guys like matte or glowy? Comment below, I'm so interested to hear because I feel like everyone was all about matte for so long but I'm all about the glow now. This color is definitely a little bit orange for me but I'm wearing a high neckline so we're gonna make it work. I actually wore this foundation to some meetups one time like a year ago so it does photograph nice too I might live stream some call of duty after this you see you guys asked me if i live stream overwatch and call of duty so those are like my favorite games at the moment on ps4 and i do sometimes my twitch is shenixo um and i've just recently started also integrating my streaming onto facebook because heaps of people follow me there already so yeah, sometimes I'll just chuck it on there. Let's try the Milani Retouch and Erase under my eyes. So I'm just going to squeeze it out and then kind of dab it under there. And I've forgotten to take my hay fever tablet today. My eyes are very red. I'm just going to use my sponge to blend it out. I love these sponges too. I feel like the concealer is much nicer on a sponge. Like the formula just blends out so much more seamlessly than... Um, it did with the brush with the brush actually you know what it could be because we're putting it over top of a matte foundation whereas before we were using that like slippery primer I was gonna say like with the brush it felt a bit more streaky but it could just be that primer I can't really cover up these breakouts perfectly because they are so sore whatever <laughs> we'll just rock it this is the thing I know like if I pick my skin I will make it worse but I can't stop. <sighs> so weird. <laughs> I'm going to use my Milani translucent light to medium powder just underneath my eyes to set my concealer. This stuff's so good. This is one of my only like drugstore under eye powders. So, you know, 
I haven't like forgotten about this one, but I also haven't used it like super recently. So let's just pop it on. It's a really nice powder. It doesn't like crease up and cake up around the eye area. You can also just use it all over your face or to bake. So yeah, this is definitely worth checking out. And hopefully it goes nicely with that concealer anyway, since they're both the same brand. And then before we um, set our concealer, I might just do a little bit of cream contouring just because I feel like it. I don't know. This is the Maybelline V Face Duo Stick. And we're going to use the contour side and just do a little contouring. And I'm just going to use my sponge to blend this out. I'm just going to like use the clean side, not the side I use my foundation with. And then just kind of like softly drag that. I mean, you can just like tap to blend, but I find like dragging this contour just kind of helps to give it a harsh line on one side and like a softer line on the other almost. And then I'll like bounce over it afterwards just to like make sure it's not too harsh. See how nice that looks? Like I reckon it's quite a good product. It's a little bit too orange, like borderline, but it still does the job. So I make it work. Do you guys want a full face of Maybelline video? Let me know. Cause I kind of want to. Cause I feel like Maybelline is definitely one of the best drugstore accessible brands like that you don't have to buy online. I've always loved Maybelline ever since I was a teenager. And I feel like I've got heaps of really good products that compare to like high end. But also like occasionally they do have those duds. So like, do you guys want a full face of like what's good? All right, that looks really nice. So now let's just set that down with some powder and then I think I'll do the eye makeup. For my pressed powder slash not pressed powder, I'm just doing loose powder. This is really cheap. This is by Innisfree. The No Sebum Powder. I'm pretty sure it's really cheap. I'll link it down below. So this one is slightly tinted, but this stuff like makes you poreless. It gets rid of every single trace of texture off your skin. It's magical and I haven't used it in probably like years. So hopefully it still performs well. It's really old. I was doing a declutter and I was like, oh my God, I forgot about this. So today is the day we use it and I don't really need more coverage. So I'm just gonna tap that all over with my powder brush. I just tap, tap, tap and then kind of just buff it in. And now all I want is to drench my face in setting spray because I feel very matte but I'm flawless. I don't really know if I have like a drugstore setting spray I haven't used lately. I guess this one, the Hyaluronic Fix by Revolution. I've been loving the glass skin one which looks like this but I use that a lot recently so I won't use that one. My other one I use all the time is my pretty fresh one from Colourpop. This is like probably my holy grail. I have a discount code for Colourpop. I think it's just Shantin. Zeus is being a dick. All right, now Zeus is finished. I found a couple actually. This one, I don't think I've used like on my face before. It's got a shimmer in it, so it's probably gonna be a terrible, terrible idea, but let's try it, because I feel like it. This is the LA Girl Shimmer Spray Finishing Spray for face and body in rose gold. Let's see how it looks on the face. Usually I use stuff like this on my body. I'm nervous. I don't know why I just sprayed so much without like looking, but oh, it smells strong like perfume. You know what though? My skin looks better. So what more could you ask for? <laughs> Definitely much better. It did give a little bit of a shimmer to my face, but it's not overboard. It's just like a really soft amount where my skin just kind of looks glowy. By the way, this top is, I think, pretty little thing, but I bought it off ASOS and it's got a freaking loose thread. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Shit, making it worse while well, it's new. I'm just gonna do a little bit more because it kind of felt good. I don't like the scent though. Like I don't know if I'll keep it when I declutter the straw. Because I do way prefer like my um colourpop one and stuff. And I do have a lot of setting sprays, but we'll see. We'll see what I end up getting rid of. Oh, that feels good though. Hydration. Alright, let's do some brows. For my drugstore brows, I have my brow tattoo pomade in the shade medium brown and my tinted fiber brow in soft brown by Milani. So I'm going to go in first with the pomade. I'm going to do some strokes on that outer tail where like my eyebrow is a bit bare because yeah, no brow tattooing. Well, I do. I've got some brow tattoos, but they're very, very, very faint now. And I haven't had my brows tinted in a while. And that looks really nice. Obviously that's the one done. And then this is Bare. This is a really nice product. It's not too like heavily pigmented. It's a nice balmy texture. So you can't really like, well you can scrub quite easily. I'm using a very light hand, but I actually find it easier to use than some high end brands of pomade. I'm just using it with an eyebrow groomer brush. And then once those are drawn in, we're going to set that or kind of set my brow hairs in place using this and 
I really love this. I've had this for ages and it just keeps giving and giving. Like I haven't run out yet. Oops, I just got it everywhere. Um, I'll just let that dry. But yeah, it's kind of like comparable to Gimme Brow by Benefit. I read something that blew my mind. It was that Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian and all them talk like by drawing out their words so much to stop them from saying words like like and um. You know what I mean? So instead of being like, um, or oh, like, they would be like. So I went to the store and I bought some marshmallows because I was really hungry. Instead of being like, oh, I bought some marshmallows because, um, yeah, um, I was hungry or like whatever. I don't know. Like, that's how I talk. I say um and ah uh, and like all the time. What the heck? And literally, people have told me, like in the professional world, Shannon, you should get some like, not speech therapy, but kind of because I get really dyslexic and stuff. And that's why I never ever tried to get into acting or anything because I can't read without screwing it up. Like you guys don't see it so much because I can edit. But also, you know, like Hamish tells me I'm the worst storyteller because I mix up everything and I can't get out a sentence. So yeah, when I read that about the Kardashians, I was mind blown. I was like, wow, is that like a technique? Have you guys ever heard of that? Hit me up because I think that's really interesting. I don't think I have a affordable eye primer right now I'm just gonna use my P. Louise base. So this will be the only like high-end product I don't actually know if this is considered high-end or what it's considered to be. It's kind of more of an indie brand I guess I do have a discount code for you guys if you do want to try it for yourself I'll link it below, but I'm just gonna use this because I'm addicted to it and I'm I'm the boss of my own videos Okay like I make the rules, so just going to spread that out with my concealer brush. Also using this as an opportunity to make sure my eyebrows are nice and crisp. And once I've done this, I'm just gonna do this off camera. I'm going to also pick out a few things from my drawer that I haven't used in a long time that we will incorporate into today's look. I don't know what color we're gonna do. I'm wearing silver, so it's a bit tricky. I just lost the blooming nail. Look, it flopped off when I was getting my eyeliner out of my little thing. I should really just glue it back on. All right, I glued them back on. That's the only one I've ever had that has come off easily. Oh my God, look at that color difference. Exposed. So I decided today, I think I'm gonna use this, which the Posty Crush, so this is like, it's not really a first impression. This is the new Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I think some of them are new shades or different names or something, and they're a different shape, but like, Okay, I've got a million Makeup Geek eyeshadows in my collection that I've not used in probably like two years or a year or something like that. So I'm still counting it as shop my stash and it's kind of a first impression as well. And that doesn't really make sense, but I don't know. If you know, you know, okay? Anyways, when it came, the posty, it completely smashed it. So I'm gonna try and like get rid of the two colors that have smashed. What I need to do is take every eyeshadow out and actually like wipe it down but I'm going to take this crease blender brush oh wait I forgot to show you the other things that um I'm gonna be using so I've got a couple of colored liners I've got a makeup geek pigment and I've also got this aqua mama by Kylie these are $12 I believe so it's kind of like the same price as a lot of like drugstore mascaras and stuff in the USA for us $12 is like dirt cheap but like I don't know if you guys consider it a drugstore or not but I just Kind of want to use it so let's just see how we go shall we i'm first going to take the shade chickadee which looks like this god it's been that long since i've used a z palette i'm going to just apply that oh the pigment though through the crease like this and i'm going to softly blend that out these are unreal look at that blend so simple, so effortless. I will link these down below for you guys. I think I have a discount code for Makeup Geek as well. I always forget what I do and what I don't. Like I'm terrible. I'm not the world's best influencer. Can you tell? I hate that word. Influencer. I like to just call myself a YouTuber. When people ask what I do, I'm like, I'm a YouTuber. Even though I'm like everywhere on social media, I just refuse to call myself. I'm an influencer. Cause I just feel like it sounds like a joke. Even though I know it's not a joke, like, I know that very well, obviously, but it's just like a cringe label, I guess, like, in my opinion. Does anyone else agree? I don't know. I'm not trying to be offensive. And then after that, I'm going to take the shade Olive You. <laughs> Looks like this. I'm going to use the same brush, screw it. I'm just going to apply that on the eyelid and blend that into the crease. 
Once again, this color is so pigmented. And then once that's kind of roughly on, I'm going to take this shade here called Morocco on the same brush again. Just trying to take a little bit less and I'm going to apply that to the edges right in the deepest part of my crease. And then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush. This is a MAC 217. I'm going to blend that. And now, just to go with my top, I thought a really bright light greeny color would be so cool, like this, like an aqua, um, the Aqua Mama by Kylie. I'm going to press this on top, I'm going to use this weird Huda Beauty like sponge thing. I'm going to press that over the top, yeah that's going to be cool. I feel like I'm getting some fallout so I'll just brush that off once I'm done. I'm going to try and like blend it kind of up to the crease so that it's not too harsh but I don't know, it just looks, looks like blown out I guess. This is literally just like a, you know, eyeshadow. What are they called? Like a little sponge that you used to get back in the 90s with your eyeshadows. Actually, I think you still do get them sometimes. They are very helpful with a lot of different things, but I guess they're not super reusable, which is the issue. How cool does that look? I love that. And I think it looks cool with the top I'm wearing. I wanted to do something not like boring, just neutral, because I've got a lot of neutral looks up at the moment like recently and probably still to come so I wanted to do something with a pop of colour but I just wanted it to look cool with the silver and not like weird I just don't want to do purple I feel like purple is like a go-to with silver but I've done purple recently so Bl I mean blue what green it is I was like blue it is nope no Shannon that's not correct <laughs> this kind of has that kind of like I don't know just that like reflect to it too which makes it look real cool against the silver top I'm wearing I think it's actually like a little gold but it's quite subtle gold, so it still looks cute. Now after that, I think I'm going to take my Sugar Rush Pigment by Makeup Geek. I don't think I've ever used this. I don't know. It's like a white. So what I'm going to do is pop this on the inner corner and kind of like on the first part of the eyelid. So first I'll do the eyelid part. Just using the same little like <laughs> eyeshadow thing. I'm going to press that on top of that like and then maybe third. It's making it a little bit more blue. And then I'm going to pop that on the inner corner. Just a little bit like that. I do feel like I could use a bit more shimmer on that inner corner. But let's just see what comes along later. I've got a couple of liquid liners. So this one here is called The Hills by um, Colourpop. And then this one is called Vivid Envy by NYX. Which is a little bit more like, I guess, light. Might go with the NYX one. I don't think I've ever used this colour before. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to do a wing. Like maybe a semi-dramatic one. Oh gosh, these are so easy to apply. Wow. Stunning! I want to use this with like literally no other eyeshadow. Like I just want to do bold green liner with this. It is so pretty. I hope this is still available because I feel like I bought this like a year or so ago. Um, when I went to LA and I went to Ulta, oh my gosh, and I was checking out and the guy was checking me out. He's like, oh, you've got an accent. Where are you from? And I was like, oh, I'm from New Zealand. He's like, oh my God, um, have you ever heard of that New Zealand YouTube guru? Um, what's her name? And like, they're like, oh, Shannon. So I'm like, yeah, that's me. And he was like, and I laughed. I was like, don't worry, it's fine. Like, I look like a hot mess right now. I had no makeup on, like shit. I look like shit. <laughs> like, I'd been on a plane, okay. That's done. I feel like we need to do something on that lower lash line. Um, I feel bold, so I might do a dark color. I'm gonna use my slim crease brush. I'm going to take a slightly darker green. This is called Spill Tea. I'm going to apply that just under here. I've done a few looks lately where I haven't, like, you know, applied anything to the lower lash line, so it's time to do something dark again. And I might even do dark eyeliner. Just to really switch it up, you know? How cool is that colour? I like that. The lighting's getting really good where you can actually see the shades now. Let me know what colour you want me to use next on my channel, or like combination. I feel like I do a lot of, like, singular colour looks. Like, is there any combos you want to see? Like, I don't know. Green and orange or I don't know <laughs> that would probably look I suppose this is kind of green and orange anyway you know what I mean though like let me know and then I'm going to pull out my little drawer of greens and blues and purples um and let's figure out what oh I could do orange but that's not dark I just don't want to do something dark but it could look cool to do an orange of some kind 
or yellow. Maybe this yellowy orange called Punch. This is a brand new color, but I think I used the Punch cream. Yeah, I did. And my yellow look I did recently. So this is like the pencil version. So, I mean, it's shopping my stash because it's been in my stash for a long time, but technically I did use basically the same thing. But you know what? It's okay. I reckon it's going to be worth it. How do we feel? Did I ruin it? I don't know. Now let's do mascara. Now I'm not going to open up a new mascara. Um, I do have some like drugstore mascaras that I've used in a long time like in my storage. But I'm just going to use like what I have already open. Okay, I straight up lied. I thought I did, but I decluttered them and I forgot. So actually I'm going to use my Chi Chi 3-in-1. Um, I used up my last one and this is one of my Holy Grail mascaras. I love it so, 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 so much. I haven't used it in a while because like I just said, I used up my last one. And then we're going to use falsies. But the stuff is amazing. So ugh, the packaging is so cute. I love silver packaging. And then that's the brush. And this just makes my lashes insane. I do have a bit of that NYX eyeliner on my lashes. So I don't know if it's going to make the application weird, but I'll try to show you how it looks. All right. So here is one coat of the mascara. And then I'm going to use some false lashes. These are drugstore prices, in my opinion. They are so cheap. So I might go in with the Rebel, which are the very bottom pair. So here's the before before, mascara before, and here are the lashes on. They look so, so dope. I'm so happy. The lighting is kind of turning to shit, but yeah, they look so cool. Okay, next up. Okay, 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 okay. The lighting just got so good. Contour and highlights. I don't really have a lot of like contour powders and stuff that you know I don't use all the time from the drugstore. I do have my little single contour, my little one from Makeup Revolution, which or oh, Makeup Obsession. I haven't used this in a long time and it like is a holy grail. I used to use it a lot, but like lately I've not used it. So let's go for it. This is a domed contour brush, and I'm going to just intensify where I contoured my cheekbones earlier. This color is amazing for contouring. And then I'm going to take a shimmer um, tulip brush, which is a little tulip shape like this, and I'm going to bronze. Here we go. The City Bronzer in the shade Light Cool. This is Maybelline. Looks like this. So I'm just going to pop some on my brush and then kind of go over like above where I contoured. Just to bronze my cheek and then around the temple and just the top of my forehead. I'm also gonna run some of that just down my nose. This is a very like sheer buildable kind of bronzing product. You can't really screw it up. Like if I swatch it, it's very pale too. Like it's just a little bit darker than my skin tone. So it's just gonna help boost my complexion a little bit. It's not gonna go crazy. I never use these, so let's go for it. This is the Super Shock Cheek. This is in the shade Most Necessary. I just feel like the color would look so good with my eye makeup, look at that. So I'm gonna use it with the same brush and just apply it to like the apple and bring it back. And this will give my skin a nice sheen, like a highlighter as well. See what I mean? Like it kind of highlights at the same time, but we're gonna add more highlighter because I want it. I'm gonna use my Master Chrome Highlighter. This is in the shade Rose Gold. I'm going to apply that to the cheekbone. I'm also gonna put this on my inner corner just to really brighten and pop that area and a little bit on my brow bone. But first, just applying it to the usual areas I like to highlight. So like the tip of my nose, a little bit on the bridge, my cupid's bow, I love doing my chin. This is another favorite from this video. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've used this, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, it's to die for. Holy shit, that's so pretty. Using a little tiny brush. This is by Zoeva, the Detail Shader Brush. On the inner corner. Just right on there. Right on the highest part of my brow. Like, arch, sorry. Not my eyebrow. And then, what's next? Our lips. So, lip pencil and lipstick. What lip pencil? What color am I doing first? I feel like doing like orange or something. I'm just gonna go in with the XO Beauty Orange lip pencil because I don't have another brand. This is drugstore priced anyway. It's so cheap. I need to sharpen it first. So this is in the shade Ainsley. It's one of my favorites. I don't know if this is gonna go with my silver top, but I just felt like doing something bold. If you're recreating this look, just go for a nude if it's scary for you or like a muted color like muted terracotta 
brown, muted pink, like whatever you want. So lately on Netflix I've been watching Money Heist. I think I'm up to is it the third season? Second or third season. I'm obsessed. It reminds me so much of like prison break vibes. Like, that kind of thing. I don't know. I love it. I've been hooked. Me and Monica are watching it, like, every single night. Um, you know how I said, you know, I've been going to bed so late? That's why. Okay? That's why. Alright. Orange lipstick. I'm gonna say that this is drugstore. It's not actually drugstore because it is Sephora, but these are so cheap. I think from memory they're, like, $7 or something like that. They are so cheap. So, this is the Lip Stories in 37. I've actually done a lip swatch video on all of these. And there are so many amazing shades. Like, it was one of my biggest lip swatch videos ever. So if you guys want to see that, I will link it below. And yeah, that is dope. If you're on a budget, these are amazing. They come in so many different shades. And that looks kind of dope. Very retro. Quite out there with the yellow liner, the green on the eyes, the orange lips. Like, it's quite cool. I like it anyway. And the lipstick is kind of like that creamy kind of finish, which I really like also. But anyway, I'm really pleased with how my makeup turned out. Um, hopefully it inspires you to do something a little bit different. My skin looks flawless too. Let me do a super close-up for you guys. It looks so smooth. It's so pretty. Is my contour blended enough? Borderline, I don't know. The eyeliner definitely dries down a little bit crusty, but I still love it. I love, love, love it. It's so cool. I love the color. I definitely want to just wear it by itself, like I said. Like, how good would that look? Just like black lashes with like bold green eyeliner and just like everything nude and bronzed. It looks so dope. You can kind of see like my contour. Love that for me because I definitely have much more of a double chin after quarantine. <laughs> Anyone else? Or is that just me? I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Feel free to thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. I love reading through my comments and replying. Thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.